hello guys welcome back to silent studios this is your man kid k and i'm here with another exciting video of how to design a simple church flyer in photoshop yes so without wasting much time let's jump right in all right so how we normally do it we go for our six by six inches resolution 300 and rgb color mode and then we create so now we have our workspace we have to bring in our guidelines so that we can know how our alignment and arrangement is going here yeah, so in my previous videos i show you guys how to do it so i won't be wasting time here i want to keep this video short so that it won't be long and people might find it boring and yeah, so we lock our guides yes we have it yes yeah, so today we are going to use a gradient background instead of a solid color so we come here and then go for gradient yes i already have some gradient settings which i have placed the course in the link in description yes when you download the file i'm going to see it yes so i come here and then that is it yes but we will have to do a little changes in it i want it to be radial instead of linear yes and then we reverse it i want it the opposite way Yes, now I want the skill, I want the, the, you can see there's a little bit of blue in the middle, yes. I want it to be at 150. Yes, that's the skill. Yes, now you can see that blue has expanded. And then you keep your angle at 90 degrees and then you press OK. Yes, now we have our gradient background. Yes, so now we're going for our Kelly background, which going to be like a mixture yeah i don't want to say a texture background but some sort of yes so we just expand it to the edges so that it can perfectly fit our workspace and then we change the blending option to multiply so that it can mix or it can blend with the gradient background yes you get me so I want to add a little bit of green texture to it so that it doesn't look plain. So with this, I'll group these two layers, Ctrl G, and then duplicate so that maybe if I make a mistake and I want to come back to my previous background, I can do it. So I, I convert it into a smart object for future reference. Yes, you know how smart object works. So I want to apply my gradient texture. So we come to filter and then camera roll. Yes. It's going to take a little bit, but it will be true. So before it comes, let's check for our green texture pixels. It's 65. So we come here, green, yes. And then we input 65, 65. And then we have it. So we press OK. Yes. So when I toggle the eyes of the layers, you are going to see that there's changes yes so we are going to group this but before that, i want to bring in an image before we can group it so that it all becomes one background yes so since it's a church something i have some members here which i like to place them up there since it's a praise uh program yes so i extend it a little but i want to mix this image with the background so that it also applies in the background yes so i come to my blending option and then go to soft light yes but i want some edges to be clean you can do that with your brush tool or your gradient but i think the gradient will perfectly work and makes it professional so we give it a layer mask then go for our gradient tool you can click here or press g on your keyboard G, and then we have it let's change it to transparent yes have to change it to transparent so that but make sure your foreground color is black so that it can take away you know with the layer mask when it's black or your foreground color is black it means you are taking out and when white you are bringing the previous ones you've taken out so in case you make a mistake you can change your foreground color to white and then you can redo it yes so now I want to take these edges out. So I just bring in here and then drag it to the top. And it, it gets a fading feature here. So a little bit. 
yes and this is nice i want to drag it a little bit up you can reduce the opacity if you like yes make it a little fading and then we group it as our background yes, so as you normally do region as background the short form yes and now i have to bring in my pasta yes i don't really know if it's a pasta <laughs> i downloaded this image online i think it perfectly matches this project yes with the posture you might think it's a pasta but i don't i don't really know maybe you might meet him somewhere and then they are going to call him a pasta <laughs> yes so it's for educational purpose not per se it's a pasta so now we've placed our image i think i have to apply a black and white effect on him yes i think that will perfectly match our project so we come here and then go to black and white it's simple yes you can see now the black and white is applying on the whole project we don't want it that way we want the black and white to only be in the subject which is our picture the pasta so we come here and then clip mask and now it's only affecting the image so we want some parts of the, the image which is the highlights and our shadows so for reds is our shadows then we drag it yes and our yellow is our highlights i drag it a little you can play with the blue too which is our, our tones yes so i think this is good and then i also add a little bit of contrast and brightness if you like yes i think it's going to work for me but whilst practicing it's an optional yes optional thing so we group this one as our image and name it pic picture yes let me a short form for okay pick. enter yes so now i think we should bring in our heading yes which is our bible of christ church present praise worship sunday yes so the fonts names and everything is in here yes so we just go for our text to you can press your keyboard or you come here and then do it yes so i click anywhere and i start to type so bible i think i have it here let me copy it and paste it to save time yes exactly then copy and then i come into photoshop and then i paste it oh it's okay yes i have it nicely so i'm going to type the praise worship to as well so praise worship okay yes later on we are going to change uh, the font type yes then i type in my sunday too so with the sunday i'm going to use a stylish font yes, so that it looks a bit nicer yes. I have my sunday and then now let's go in and change our font and our colors yes so I think I'll go for I'll start with the praise worship, yes. which is the bigger one in it. So I think I have to start with that one first. So when we come here, the font name for praise worship is High Man Trial. Yes, the size is 90 pt. Yeah, 90 pt. I don't know if it's a pixel or what, but that's what I'm seeing here. You can also replicate it 90 pt. Yes okay we come for our high man trial yes that's it high man trial yes we have it so now we we'll have to uh, set the size yes the font size which is 90 pt yes so you know in 
the size presets here i can't find 90 so i have to type it myself so i come here and then 90 and then enter yes it's going to be big in time yes i have it it's very huge our praise worship is very huge yes so uh let's go in for our bible of christ presents bible of christ church presents yes and then let me check for its size so bible of christ is 10 pt yes okay it's already there all right so i place it on top of this but i want to make that one yellow in a yellow color so we come for a yellow color here whether yellow or gold anyways i copy and then come here and then paste my color code in here so control p i have it there enter yes now we are set and then my sunday as i said earlier i'm going to use a stylish font so uh, the name is here is autograph this is autograph for personal use only yes, so autograph regular so i come here and then open then autograph okay we have it here yes i've dropped the file uh, the fonts in my uh, description so that you can also uh, install it in your piece so that while designing you might not miss any parts yes so this is 12 uh no yes this is 65 sorry so i come here and then 65 we have it for that one, i'm going to change the color so since we have the color code on our clipboard it's going to automatically paste it there for us and we have it so press enter yes so I want to make the alignment for the praise worship before I, I apply my effect on it, which is the cutout. So I'm going to cut out the Sunday from the praise worship. Yes, as in in the thumbnail. Yes, so I want to set this as a center alignment. Yes. Okay. Center alignment. Perfect. And then my Bible of Christ Church present to have to center it so that all follow the same procedure or sequence yes and i come to my sunday too and then do same for it yes okay I think, okay that's good that's good so i think my bible of christ church presents has to come a little bit down yes okay this is good and then my church to my sunday as well i have to move it up yes okay so right now this is what i'm going to do the cutout yes so we have to uh layer mask our praise worship so that maybe uh while designing you want to change it back you can claim it so some people do it in a way they rasterize the the type the the font or no yes the type font or anyhow you can say it. and then later on they use uh, their eraser to to clean it but this is an easy way or a trick i'm showing you guys so that you can use it maybe when you make a mistake so i hold my control whilst our praise worship layer is selected and then i click on sunday Yes. So when you click on Sunday, I'm going to see through that there's a selection around this text. Yes, but I want to expand this selection so that it can give a space for the Sunday to pass through. So we come to select at the top here and then come to modify and then expand. So we choose a radius or a pixel we want. So I think 15 will work for us and then we click OK. So after clicking, I'm going to see through that the expansion has um, become more, yes, or the selection has expanded, yes, in that way. So, this way, we are going to use our brush to clean those parts. 
so I come here or you can press B on your keyboard I have it make sure it's a hard brush for easy cleaning yes not by rubbing it yes so with our foreground color black and then I just pass, pass through once and I have it yes this is good for me so I press ctrl D to deselect my selection and now I group this let me group this three layers so that I can slant them yes. so I group them yes and then I name them praise worship or anyhow you want to name it so I think let me name it Sunday for a short uh, type so Sunday Sunday yes I have it so right now we have to transform it yes we have to transform it so with our control T yes we have it and then we come here and we input negative 5 yes now you can see our text has been slanted which looks perfectly nice so I'm going to grab, uh, drag this a little bit up yes so uh, I have it neatly here you can check your navigator if everything is perfect for you this is just a preview of how your work is going yes an overview you know with the gray lines and other things you might not see the beauty of your work yes and i like it this way so uh for the sake of um saving time i've saved some of the uh, typefaces or the write tabs as a png so that we can move faster and I know most of us know how to type as I always say. Yes, so with this, I want to make a rectangle behind our faster zoo. I just come here and then select my rectangle tool. You can press U on your keyboard or come there and select it. So U with our color white and then I drag it something like this. Yes, like it that way. Nice. Yes, I have it this way. I want to add another rectangle to it, uh, but that is going to follow this grid line. So, my U again, and then make sure it does not pass this grid line. Yes, but for that, I'm going to change the color. So, it's, come, it's, it's going to be something like a, a bar beneath it. Yes, so this color is a, this is the color code for it 081 and blah 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 yes we press ok and then we drag it we don't want it to be on our pasta it's on a uh, god fairy man <laughs> yes so i think i have to group this uh what name should i even give it to it okay uh, bar, something like that yes <laughs> okay so as i said earlier i'm going to bring in my right tabs yes so i come here and then i've already saved them uh, this is the pastor's name yes i have it neatly here i want to adjust my picture so that it moves according with the name yes so uh, it's a bit up here okay we have our pasta our pasta is here pasta joe hayford yes okay i don't really know his name i just gave him a name which is going to suit him yes okay so i'm going to bring in the other write-ups too okay which is the the social media handles yes and the uh, zoom code too so i want to uh, expand my bar yes the rectangle it seems this is getting close okay this is neat perfect okay so i want to show you a little trick yes that's the uh, you go to our rectangle 
and then I want to set a gray line so that I know how my rectangle will go so something like this okay all right this is good I want to make the edges round so something like this okay and then reduce the opacity to, to 50 or low something below 50 yes so i come here and then input 5 zero. yes this is looking good or oh, a bit lower. yes i'm going to place a white font or a white text on it yes so that when your viewers are reading the information on it they can know what's going on or they can understand yes so I want to drag I want to drag this up. Yes. And then you can see the text in here is not well aligned with the rectangle. Yes, because uh, our text is well placed and our rectangle is a bit misaligned. So I come to my marquee to rectangle marquee to, to draw a selection which is going to lie in between. So with the help of my grid line, this is the importance, one of the importance of our grid line. Yes. And then this is my rectangle layer. And then I hit the center alignment. And we have it. Yes. We are almost done. Now, you know, most churches have a logo. Yes, and I'm going to put that on our project. So I want to group this. Okay, let me name it right tabs. Right tabs. Okay. So, uh, in my previous video, I applied that same technique here too, which is the rectangle I created up here with a bit of a uh, uh, rolling edges. Yes. Let me say it that way. So. We we'll just do the same thing, but it's going to be a bit uh, thin. It's not the bigger one. Yes. So we create a layer mask so that we can cut out our selection. But whilst uh, using our pen tool to do that, and our layer mask is selected, I want to see that because our our rectangle is a live shape. Whilst using the pen tool, we are going to see that the 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 shape is also following the path or the of the pen tool. Yes, so you let me try something so that you guys see what I'm talking about. So when you're having your pen tool this way, it means that your caps lock is on, so you have to turn it off. Then you have your pen tool. So see through something, maybe a rough something. So we are going to see that the shape is following the selection, which we don't want it. So we control Z. Yes. And then we select a different layer so which means our rectangle layer is not active so after the selection then we select it and then we clear off our wanted parts so something uh okay this okay i think this is really good this is good this should be good yes and then we make a selection radio zero and then we press ok perfect then we come back to our layer mask and go for our brush and we click and it's off that's nice all right now let's bring in our dl logo okay so this is our dl logo this is not actually the the church logo yes it's a logo i just found online yes which i, I think it's going to work for uh our project since it's a bible something you can see through that there's a bible beneath the world and um, or the earth vector so with this one i'm going to clip mask it but before that i want to uh, add up some filling of uh, a cloth yes so we bring in our cloth background and then i'm going to clip mask it into that rectangle so i'm going to rotate it the other way so it can be straight 
and I extend it to cover the whole rectangle and then I clip mask yes this is good I want to change the blending option to multiply let's try oh, overlay okay multiply will work and then reduce the opacity yes okay this is nice I'm going to clip mask the logo also into the rectangle and then we do the same for that but we have to place it well okay control T and we have it okay so you can see that our logo is having a white background yes I don't really mind yes but let's see if we can clean some part of those background so we do a layer mask for that one too and go for our brush but this time it's going to be a soft brush yes so i have it here. or you can the hardness you can reduce it yeah. nice with the same foreground color black so that we can be able to clean it reduce our brush size and then i clean so you won't see those edges here exactly so you can now see it's blending very well with the cloth background okay so i think we are done yes and you know how i uh finished my project my last video or my previous video i showed you guys i add a little bit of contrast to my work and brightness yes it gives a little help so you can Open your navigator and check through whether your brightness and contrast is perfect. If it's not perfect, you just turn it off. It's not necessary. Yes, some projects do not need it. So we with this one, we are not going to clip mask it. So I just try and increase my contrast and then my brightness as well. Okay, so brightness might be at five yes i like it all right let's check our navigator and we already have our project done yes so please uh kindly hit the subscription button yes and click on the notification bell so that you get notified when i drop any video yes and please uh kindly share this video to us well yes i really really appreciate how you guys are supporting my channel Yes, I know you guys will do more and more. Yes, I'm also trying my best to drop a video every week so that we all can be better in graphic designing. Yes. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys today. I'll be coming with more. And I love you guys. Yes. Your man, Gitke. I'm out.